Hey Mavericks fans, I'm here for On the Bench, brought to you by Deffenbaugh Industries. You asked your questions for Trevor Kell, but he's sick today, so we have John Scott Dixon to answer your questions. Your first question comes from Brianna Bauer, and she asked you, what inspired you to play hockey? Um, just growing up in, uh, in Canada, hockey was, was the thing, I guess, and I uh, started at uh, the age of four and uh, just kind of went from there. I started out goalie. I played one game, had 10 goals scored against me, and never played goalie again. Jordan Humble asked, who is your favorite NHL player, past or present, and why? Um, past was Jeremy Roenick. He played for the uh, Chicago Blackhawks, and it was just because he was uh, kind of a shooter, kind of a, you know, uh, I guess a power forward, grinding kind of player, and with some skill, and uh, kind of just... Uh, I just kind of caught my eye, I guess. And, and now it would kind of be Brendan, Brendan Morrow from the Dallas Stars. He's kind of just a power forward, grinding kind of guy. So kind of relates to me a little bit. If you weren't playing hockey, what would you be doing for a living? Um, I don't know. That's a tough one. Um, I've always, uh, I've always uh, been interested in firefighting. I've, I've done some research on that. And uh, I mean, even when hockey's done, that, that's, a, that's a possibility for me, hopefully. Um, looked into the you know the course you have to do and stuff like that. So firefighting, um, it's tough to say because I feel like I, I should always kind of be in sports, I guess. Playing for the EH, ECHL, AHL, and CHL, have you noticed any differences between the leagues? Um, yeah, I mean, I only played nine games in, in the American Hockey League, but um, it's just speed and, and how quick they make decisions is, is, is a pretty big difference. And, uh, I mean, everybody kind of from the CHL, the American League, you know, have the same skill, but... Uh, it's kind of just it's that's that much quicker and you know you got to make decisions you know that much quicker too so you just you just got to be alert and be ready and uh i mean we've had a couple guys on our team that have played some games this year in the american league and uh kind of asked them the same questions and and that's you know it's still the same answer it's just uh you know it's a lot quicker game a little faster paced you won a national champions championship at uh the university of new brunswick from your experience do you think this mavericks team has what it takes to hoist the cup um, I think so. Um, you just everybody has to buy in, kind of thing, and, and I think that's starting to come around. It maybe was, uh, you know, a little slow to start, but uh, I think uh, once everybody kind of buys in and, and everybody's kind of playing the system and, and things are going well, um, when, once you work hard, if you work hard, you know, anything can happen, kind of thing. It's it's not always based on uh, who has the most skill. I mean, you work hard and anything can happen. What's your go-to move in a breakaway situation? Um, well, I don't get too many breakaways. Uh, I, I would say I'd shoot, kind of try to make a little move and shoot. I consider myself a, sh a shooter, so um, it would be some sort of shot, I'm sure. If I deke, then uh, I don't know, maybe I wasn't really thinking too much. <laughs> and then we have like a speed round of questions about your road roommate. So who's your road roommate? Um, it's usually David Samoes, but last uh, road trip it was uh, Dave Chaz. Chazzy was my road roommate, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, who's a louder snorer? Uh, Samoa's is. Who yeah. eats more? Uh, oh, Samoa's. Who's on the phone more? Mm, they're not really on their phones too much. Um, Trevor Kell, even though he's not my roommate, is probably the guy who's on his phone the most out of everybody on the team. Well, thanks for being here with us today, and we hope to see you guys out at a game soon. Everybody talks, everybody talks, everybody talks.